Tokyo area, uh, the big earthquake occur. That is a challenge for us uh, to uh, design the, uh, such a uh, high-rise uh, structure. To stabilize the tower, engineers rely on fluid dampers developed during NASA's Apollo space program and from something closer to home. The engineer's first step in controlling the shake of the tower centers around an ancient earthquake-proof structure called a Japanese pagoda. A flexible earthquake dampening central pole called a shinbashira stabilizes this tiered wooden structure. Skytree's engineers are emulating this ancient technology, creating an enormous 1,200-foot concrete column set on six giant rubber bearings. Now we are uh, here at the bottom of the uh, core column. I came up with the uh, core column system uh, because uh, there is a shimbashira in Japan. And sandwiched between this mass and the tower's steel structure lies the Apollo-inspired fluid dampers. The upper half of the core column is uh, connected with the oil damper uh, to the steel structure. Situated between 410 and 1,230 feet, the series of fluid dampers control the movement of the freestanding 11,000-ton concrete core and the steel exoskeleton throughout a seismic event. During the earthquake, the core column designed to shake just a little bit slower uh, compared with uh, steel towers. That condition uh, is the uh, reason why the core column system reduced the uh, vibration of the Tokyo Sky 3. The different vibration cycles of the central column and steel frame can counteract the vibration of the entire tower. If the oil damper isn't uh, installed, the core column will collide the steel structure. The core column will collapse. The system is so effective, it reduces an earthquake's vibration by 50% meaning SkyTree will survive Tokyo's most severe seismic activity, the likes of which is only expected once every thousand years. The vibration control system is a unique system for Tokyo SkyTree. This is the first one in the world. <laughs>